Oi, oi. Hi everyone, I'm Will from Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. In tonight's episode, what I want to do is I want to show you uh, my cow card. Right, before we get into the show, if you could do us a massive favour, because I need it, because my show's a proper pony. If you could like, subscribe and flick my bean, it helps this channel grow. Right, what this is, is a card where you can use it for to uh, check the calibration of your test meters. I've got two at the moment that I've just, I've literally just had them uh, recalibrated. And I had the dreaded call from the NIC that uh, I've got to have my um, yearly visit. Well, what they was is they were looking to see if they could get a, um, there was a couple of cancellations and they said, look, can we come in and see you? And all that, unfortunately, I've, you know, I'm booked up for the next couple of months, so I need it to be booked in. So obviously I can book it book myself off for the day but what what these are so what they're what you are to do with uh, the NIC I'm, I'm only I can only really talk for the NIC because I'm an approved contractor I'm 100% sure that Napit, Stroma, Alexa I'm sure all of them are the same because you've got to have a record of all the calibration with this cow card you could do the continuity installation resistors what it is is a series of resistors that are that are together where you go between common and the um, the different the different ones it, it, it become clearer once you come up and uh, you have to do that and then also which i got stung for last time when i had uh, assessment is the rcd i never used to keep a record of the rcd and the earth loop impedance which i just thought was a bit weird really but one of the good things is is if you go onto the cow cards actual website i'll put it on the link below is that all of this is free to download so you've obviously got the instructions of how to use the cow card the instructions for the acceptance test procedure for confirming rcd and loop impedance that's the one i got a bit rinsed for and then obviously i've i've done I've downloaded two. To be honest, we usually keep these on a spreadsheet, but to make it easier for you guys, I want to show you what it's like on here. And as these were calibrated last week, you know, there's the certificates. Is that I've already done? I've already done this before. Before I started, is that I got the base values, baseline values, and that's a reference. So they're the top one. You are actually supposed to write them on the back of the card, but I don't because. I've had it before where the ink just runs. They did used to have a little film that used to go over the top, but it, they don't do that anymore. Yeah. And I just think it's really handy because especially in the winter months when your meter's in the van all day and all stuff like that, because it's obviously battery powered, the batteries, batteries don't half play up with the meters, I tell you, but and, you know, but we always store them inside, you know, for over the years, I've, I've recognized that as a problem. I literally store them inside. What I'll do is I'll bring you in and I'll bring in my meter. What I've got is I've got the two. You've, I always use the CK Magna bag just because I prefer it. I know you, what you're thinking is that the Vito, I've, I have to admit the Vito bag is a lot nicer looking, but it's not very practical. I don't like the fact that you have to take out the whole contents to use the meter where it's different with the CK. I'm looking for a different test bag, but hey ho, I'm looking at that velocity one, but right, I'll bring you in and we'll have a little look, yeah? Right, so just so you can see up close, so we've got 25.25, half, one, two, five. On the mega ohms, you've got 0.5, one, two, 10, and 20. Just, just in case you can't see it there, I'll quickly go for it. So we're on the ohm meter for there, and I'm literally, I've nulled the leads out, so the green goes on common. So 0 0.27, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 201, 2, 5, 6. I'll just quickly go through that again. So I'm getting 0 0.24, I'll write that down. Yeah, so that proves that that meter is pretty bang on. Right, now, the, the maximum for this is 500 volts. 
Yeah, so you just got to be very careful with this. So 0.50. Point ninety eight. Yeah. So it just goes to show it's, it's pucker, it's really good, it's really ideal, it gives you something because if your meter's playing up, you are supposed to do this once a month, if your meter is playing up then it's something to go to. What I'll do is I'll just move you over and we're going to go over and do the RCD and the loop impedance test. On free low because it's RCD protected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it onto automatic and then go for it. I've just got to check what type of RCD it is. I'm 100% sure it is AC. I've just got to turn it around to auto and I will stand by the consuming it, redoing it. I've just got to check, make sure that it's on AC. I'll let that drill help you out so you can see it. So it's on auto. It's going to do the five tests. I literally, I'm going to let it go and then I will stand by the fuse board. So then all you do with this sheet is you find out which one it was. So half at zero was, half at zero was, so 0.89 ohms at zero was a 999 one was 11.6 then 19 then 8.8 .8, then 18.5 initials angie right yeah another good thing is for this is when you're doing the continuity with the uh cow card well another good thing is is when you're doing the uh it also tests the lead so i would advise using the blue lead obviously mine are color color coded green red and blue but i would advise using all of them so just to check make sure the leads are fine and all that because they always go uh they always go rotten Anyway. Right, before we go, I'd just like to show you that I, I noticed earlier when I was on the uh, NIC website that they've actually changed their, they've actually changed the way that they log all their uh, meters and all that. And I'm going to actually give them a call tomorrow and see what the score is with this because I've never seen this before. Test instrument ac accuracy record summary and all that. And it's slightly different. I'm, I'm going to call them up and see if that the cow card's still relevant. I did see on their... Uh, I did, they must have had a falling out with Cal card because they used to endorse these because I have actually got quite a few here that have actually got the NIC written on them so they can't really turn around and say that they, we're not allowed to use them when they used to endorse them. But yeah, the NIC do have their own one but unfortunately their one is square so you're never going to use that because these always slit in. You know the ID parts of your bag, I always put them in there and the same as the Vita bag that just goes in the front pocket at the front. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of it. And don't forget, if you're going to be anything, then be electric. Up the old blues. <laughs>